I was that person that was lost. When we hear about the lost, that was me. And so from all sorts of issues of abandonment, as a three-year-old little girl whose dad bailed, my mom was a teen mom, and all the feelings that come along with that, feelings of a failed marriage. So I struggled, and I struggled with sins of doubt, with fear, with unbelief, with pride, with self-everything, including selfies, self-serving, self-sufficient, self-destruction, with complaining. I was angry. I was bitter. I was defensive. I had contempt. I was hurt, and I was critical. I was definitely critical of men. I lacked gratitude to God for all that he had done for me, and I was really seeking attention and praise and um, I, was, I was filled with lust at that time in my life, too. And I was actually using all the talent that God gave me in a totally wrong way to connect with people. And so the awesome thing, fast forward 10 years later, I was never healed instantly of any of that. This has been a process. This has been a journey. And sometimes very slow and painful. And, and it's like the peels of an onion that get peeled back and it's like, oh, there's something more. There's something deeper. Sometimes something uglier than even what you knew was there. God did not give up. His grace is sufficient. And he continued to reach out to me through people who loved on me, who encouraged me. And so there was an incredible change in my life. And it wasn't that thing that happened overnight. It wasn't some miraculous healing. And it has been a 10-year process. But it is awesome because of Jesus, I overcame. And because of that continual process of overcoming, he has given me a second chance. He's brought an incredible godly man into my life. And we're working every day just at becoming the people that Jesus wants us to continue to become. And we're keeping our eyes on him.